Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. How are you today? I hope all of you in a good health. Today, we're gonna learn new things and our topics for today is round of numbers. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to round off whole numbers up to the nearest thousand for numbers up to 10,000. Before we learn more about this topic, let we understand first what is mean by round off. Round off is actually bringing any number to the nearest or closest numbers according to reference place value. Actually, we have a lot of method that we can use to do round off. However, for today, I will only teach you two methods, which is the first one is number line and the second one by using upper group and lower group. Let's look at to the example. Round off 3476 to the nearest 10. That means we need to bring this number to the nearest 10th place value. To round off this number using number line, firstly, we need a number line. First, we need to decide the start number for the number line and the end number of the number line. For this question, as we can see, we need to bring this number to the nearest 10. So let's look at to the 10th place value which is 7. 7 means 70. That means the start number for the number line will be 70. And if we count in 10s, the end number for this number line will be 80. This is because 76 is between 70 and 80. So, let's do the number line. The start number will be 3470 and the end number, the last number will be 3480. Next, we need to put all the marks for the numbers that is possible to be in this number line. So, draw the mark first. We have nine small line between the start and the end number line. This is because we need to find where is the place for 3476. Let's look at to the number line. If the starting number is 3470, the next one will be 3471, 72, 3473, 74, 75 and 76. So here will be the number which is 3476 so this is where the number that we need to round off are 10 after we know the place for the number in the number line then look at the number line let's say you are here at this number and then you want to move to the end road so either you will move to the right side to 3480 or you will move to the left side which is 3470 so can you recognize which side shorter for you to travel yes exactly you will choose to the right side because you only need one two three four step if you move to the left side you will have one two three four five six so six step over here and four step over here of course will choose to the right so 3476 if we round off to the nearest 10 using number line the answer will be 3480 let's we move to the next example round off 4579 to the nearest 100 so this time you need to bring this number to the nearest 100 again if we use number line then we need to decide what is the start number and the end number which is number will be at the left side and what number will be at the right side so back to the number given 4579 so we can see 500 over there that means the start number will be 4500 and we need to count in hundreds because we need to bring this number to the nearest hundred so the end number if we Counting in hundreds after 500 will be 600. So, end number will be 4,600. Next one, 
make all the marks for possible number in this number line. We'll have 9 marker inside this number line and we need to decide where is the position for the numbers given. So, for this number line, if we count 500 to 600, the number inside the number line will be 100. If we divide by each mark, that's mean all the markers will increase by 10. So, here we have 4,500. Next one will be 4,510. And then 4,520, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's why it becomes 4,600. Now, we have 4,579. So, it will be between 70 and 80. It's about here. It's already 70 but almost to near to 80. So, here is the location for 4,579. Now, again, let's say you are standing here. Alright. So, which way will you choose? To end the row, is it to the right side or you will go to the left side? Yes, directly you can see you will go to the right side because it's shorter. So, 4,579, if we round off to the nearest 100, the answer will be 4,600. Next example, round off 6,493 to the nearest thousand so this time we need to bring the number to thousands that's mean we counting in thousand so here for the number we have six thousand so basically this number line will start with six thousand and then counting in thousand it will be end at the seven thousand next one again do find all the markers inside the number line for all the possible number in the number line so we will have nine small marker inside the number line and fill in all the number. Start with 6,000 and at 7,000. So, the number for this number line is 1,000. If we divide by all the marks, that means all small marker will increase by 100. So, here is 6,000. Next one will be 6,100, 6,200, 300, 400, 500. 600, 700, 800, 900. So, let's find where is the location for this given number. So, 6,493 will be over here between 6,400 and 6,500. So, it's 493. That means it's already 400 but almost to 500. That means it must be here. So, here is the location for 6,493. Again, imagine let's say you are standing here. So, which road, which side will you go? Either to the right or to the left. Let's say you will go to the right. You will take one small one, one big, two, three, four, five step. Okay, five big step with one small step if you go to the left you will take one two three four five step all right so here you will take five step and here five big step with one small step so which one closer yes to the left side is closer because it just five step so, for this number, 6,493, if you round off to the nearest thousands, it will be 6,000. Now, let's learn how to do round off by using upper group and lower group method. So, for this example, we have round off 1,836 to the nearest 10. First of all, take out the number, write again the number which is 1836 next one, round off to the nearest tens where is the tens place value? yes, the digit 3 that means this place value, this number will change how to change it? we need to refer to the beside number which is at the right side exactly beside the number so, 
Beside 3 is 6. Next one, we refer to the note at the side. Alright, if the upper group, that means the beside number is 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. We need to add 1 to the number, to the digit that we do round off. However, if the beside number is in the lower group, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, you just need to maintain the digit at the round off place value. Back to the question, alright, we need to round off 30, 3 at the tens place. So, look at to the beside number, the right side which is 6. 6 will be in this upper group here. So, we need to add 1 to the digit that we do round off. That means we need 2 plus 1 to the here. So, 1 plus 3 equals to 4. The back number, all the number at the right side, you just replace with 0. And the front number, all the number at the left side, you just copy back. So, 1,836, if we round off to the nearest 10, will become 1,840. Next example, we have 3,579 and round off to the nearest 10. So, take up the number 3,579, round off to the nearest 10, underline the place value 10 here, which is number 7. Look at to the beside number at the right side, 9. Where is 9? Is it belong to the upper group or lower group? So, as you can see, 9 is here in the upper group. That's mean we need to add 1 to the line number, to the place value that we do round off. So, we plus 1 here. So, 1 plus 7 equals to 8. Remember, I told you before, the right number at the back, you just replace with 0. And then, the front number, which is the left number, you just copy everything again. So, 3,579, if we round off to the nearest 10, the answer will be 3,580. Next one, we have to round off 7,038 to the nearest 100. Take out the number, write the number 7,038. Underline the place value that we need to do round off, which is hundreds. 100 is here at the 0 and then Refer to the beside number exactly at the side of the number that we do underline. Alright, at the right side here, 3. So, find 3 is it in the upper group or lower group? Yes, 3 is here in the lower group. If it's in the lower group, we just need to maintain the number that we underline. So, maintain or we just plus 0. Plus 0 means maintain everything. So, it will be... 0 again because maintain 0 plus 0 is 0. Remember, all the number at the right side, you just write with 0, replace with 0. And then the number at the left side, you just copy back. So, 7,038, if you round off to the nearest 100, will be 7,000. Next one, round off 2,165 to the nearest 100. So, take out the number 2,165. Round off to the nearest 100. Underline the number that is in the place value of 100. So, we here 1. So, look at to the beside number at the right side. We have 6. Alright. Find where is 6. Which group it belong. So, here is 6 is in the upper group. If upper group, we need to add 1 to the underlying number. So, we add 1 over here. 1 plus 1 equals to 2. All the back number, you just replace with 0. And then the left side number, you just copy back. So, 2165, if you round off to the nearest 100, will become 2200. Next one, we have round off 5281 to the nearest First of all, we take up the number, write the number again, which is 5,281, alright? Round off to the nearest thousands, underline the number at the thousands place value, which is here 5, and then look at to the beside number at the right side 2. Find the groups that is belong to 2. Yes, as you can see, 2 is here, it's in the lower group, and we need to maintain. Maintains, we need to plus 0 or do nothing. If we plus with 0, 0 plus 5 equals to 5. All the number at the right side, you just replace with 0. And the number at the left side, we just copy. However, for this questions, we don't have number at the left side. So, 
5,281 if we round off to the nearest thousand it become 5,000 next example we have round off 8,601 to the nearest thousand so again take up the number first which is 8,601 and then underline the number that is in the round off place value which is thousand so here is thousand number eight and then look at to the number beside at the right side which is six so find the groups of six six is here it's in the upper group that's me we need to plus with one add with one to the number that we round to the number that we do underline so plus one here one plus eight equals to nine all the number at the right side you just replace with zero and then for the number at the left side, you just copy back. But for this one, we don't have the number at the left side because it's already at 1000. So, if we round off 8601 to the nearest 1000, it will become 9000. We are at the end of this lesson. But I would like to remind you, if you want to do round off, you can choose which method that you like. Because I know some of you like the number line method and some of you like the upper and lower groups methods i hope you already understand and you can do by yourself rounding of number see you again on the next lesson and thank you everyone